Hello everyone, this is Brett Darian, and today we're going to be talking about HD radio. Now, if you don't know what HD radio is, it's basically just digital radio stations that you can pick up over the air. It's kind of like how your TV stations now are all digital, and they're all high definition, and there are different sub-channels now in addition to the main channels that you get over the air on your TV. So HD radio is kind of the same thing. It's not quite the same high definition, but the HD radio stations are, they do provide clear sound, and they're supposed to sound better, and the sub-channels have additional programming and all that stuff. Um, now, HD radio has been around for a long time. It's been around for roughly 20 years, but I have never had an HD radio tuner. I've never had HD radio in my car. Like a lot of newer cars now have HD radio built into their stereo systems. My car's not new enough to have that. And I've never had an HD radio tuner like this from my home or anything, so I've never been able to listen to HD radio or, you know, even research it that much. But recently I have become interested in it, so I went out and tried to find a good um, HD radio tuner. Uh, now, if you were to go on to hdradio.com, you will see a list of HD radio tuners that are currently available to purchase. This is not one of them. And that's because this one was discontinued a long time ago. This tuner dates back to 2008. So why did I get this one? Well, this particular Sony model is highly regarded as the best, or at least one of the best, radio tuners out there. It's supposed to have good sensitivity, and it picks up stations very well, and it sounds good, and, and all that stuff. So I went ahead on eBay, and I got one. And here it is. And it also came with it, it also came with the original box and the original manual. And it even came with the remote. Now the remote unfortunately did have some leaking batteries in it when I first opened the package up. Uh, but I did clean it out and I put fresh batteries in it. And the remote does still work, so so that's good news. But anyway, um, the tuner itself. I've had this tuner for a few weeks and I've been using it and the tuner is a very good tuner. Like it does receive radio stations very well and it does sound good for the most part. Now as good as this radio tuner is, it does have some flaws. And one of those flaws is this model has a particular problem with overheating. So if you use this radio a lot the insides can get really hot and it can actually burn up and damage the components inside the radio. There are actually pictures online of the boards being all burnt up and black. And, I mean, it looks pretty nasty. So in order to get around that right now, I've just been unplugging it when I'm not using it. That way I can make sure that there's not going to be any, you know, um, any issues with that. But there are modifications you can do. Um, that can alleviate that problem and you can add a cooling fan and you can also do some tweaks to it to make it sound better and all that stuff. Um, I might look into that later but for right now I just wanted to show you guys what this does stock with no modifications and how it sounds, how it performs and we will get into that here in just a minute. But as for HD radio itself, my personal opinions of HD radio from the uh, stations that I have listened to is, is that HD radio does have potential, but the past 20 years, it really hasn't taken off that much. And I do think there's a couple of reasons for this. One is because, well, first of all, there's not a lot of tuners available, and it's more costly for radio stations to broadcast an HD radio signal. And the second reason is, I think that HD radio, right now anyway, is just not really being used properly. Like, it's not being used to its fullest potential. Because the whole point of HD radio is to have these substations that have additional radio programming and all that stuff. But in my area anyway, most of the sub-channels are just being used to simulcast other analog radio stations which to me is kind of pointless. I mean, you could say that, well, at least it's an HD clear radio digital signal, but it still isn't really that beneficial because 
Another downside of HD radio is that the sound can sound compressed. So like if you have multiple stations, like if you have one main station and like two or three other sub channels, the sound quality can actually be kind of worse than analog radio. Like it kind of sounds like an MP3 that is playing back at a very low bit rate. So, so it's just not very pleasant to listen to, and that's a downside of HD radio, at least when you're having like, you know, two or three sub-channels. The main channel can still sound fine, but it just doesn't sound better enough than regular analog radio to warrant the extra cost of an HD radio tuner and, you know, and all that stuff. So let's take a look at the HD radio tuner itself. On the front here, you have the LCD screen that just shows you your information, your signal meter, your the current frequency you're tuned into, and you also have your remote sensor on the left. And on the top, you have your function buttons. Um, you use these to, uh, to tune stations and to set presets, access the menu, and to also do scans for channels and on the back you have your RCA audio out jacks and your FM antenna input and your AM antenna input okay so I have it all hooked up now I have the the left and right audio jacks hooked up to my stereo system and I have the antenna coaxial going in and I have this hooked up to a TV antenna that I have outside so it should get better reception now, one other flaw with this tuner is that whenever you unplug it from power and plug it back in, um, the clock will just flash like this. This tuner does not keep the time nor the presets when you unplug it from power, so you have to set them every time. But since I unplug this anyway when I'm not using it, then there's no point in setting the time, so I'm just going to leave it flashing like this. So. So when you turn it on, you can turn it on with this button right here, or you can just press the power button on the remote. And it says wait. And then it will just automatically tune to an AM station. Now I'm not going to test the AM stations. Um, there is such a thing as HD AM stations, but I do not have any HD AM stations in my area. So... I'm not going to be able to test that today. So we will just turn it back to AM. So we can just press the um, the band button right here on the remote. And you can also press the band button right here on the top. And that will do the same thing. So we can switch to FM. Now for a list of HD radio stations in your area, you can go to hdradio.com and type in your zip code and that will display a list of HD radio stations in your area. Now if it shows no radio stations, try typing in a nearby zip code and sometimes that will work. So here are a list of HD radio stations in my area. I am in the Huntsville, Alabama TV viewing area and these are the HD radio stations that are available in my location. Now keep in mind some of this information, especially for the subchannels, is inaccurate and not up to date so you will have to just try tuning to that station to see what the station is actually broadcasting now so let's try tuning in some stations now um, you can manually tune to a station by either holding down the tune buttons on the tuner itself just keep holding it down until you get to the station or you can also do the same thing on the remote And this is a talk station here, but it is not HD. So, um, there are also two scan features. There's a regular scan, which just scans for analog stations, and there's also an HD scan button, which scans for HD stations only. So if you press just the scan button, it will scan for, uh, for just analog stations, and it'll stay on the station for a few seconds, It'll just keep going, and you can press the enter button to, to 
to stop the scan. And if you press the, uh, the HD scan button, it will scan for HD stations only, and it will not stop on any analog stations. So it's going to get to one here in just a minute. But these are all analog stations here that it's picking up. And as you can see, it is picking up quite a few. Okay, now this is an HD station here. So this is the main channel here. This is one. And this is a sub-channel. So this is two. And then it keeps on scanning. And this is another HD station. So this is so this is channel one, and then this is sub channel two, and this is sub channel three, and then it just keeps resuming. So that's how you do a scan for stations. Uh, now, if you want to add a preset, all you gotta do is just tune to a station. Um, let's just tune to. Let's go down to, let's just do this one here first, let's say. So we can hold down the enter button right here. And then we can do that this is preset one. So then we press enter, and now that is preset one. And now let's tune to another station. And we hold down enter again. And then that will be preset two, so we press enter. And so now that is preset two. And you can navigate through your presets, again, using the remote, or using these buttons here. Oh, I'm a tuner. So there's preset one, preset two. And of course, this also works for HD stations as well. So if we tune to an HD station here, Um, this is a sub-channel, so this is 99.1-2. So we can hold down the enter button for this. And make that preset 3. Or you can make it any preset you want to. You can make it preset uh, 4 or 5, 6 or 7, you know, whichever one you want. But we'll make it number 3, so you press enter. And now that is preset number three. So it's very easy to set presets and navigate through them. So that's very nice. So now let's look through the menu, which you can get to using the remote as well. So you have options between contrast and brightness, as well as daylight savings time settings. And you can also set the time. And that's all you have in the menu. And there is a quick... Uh, brightness button um, right here on the remote that you can adjust the brightness real quick so this is with the brightness completely off this is the high setting and this is the middle setting and that's the only choices you get and you and there's also a display button which allows you to select between either showing the clock or showing the frequency so there are quite a few good features on this tuner so that's really cool. Okay, so now I just want to show you how much better this tuner is than the other tuner I was using. Because the other tuner I was using was this. This is a Technics STK55. This one dates back to 1990. And I got this off eBay a while back. And I thought this would be a good one because this Technics brand. Now the only key difference here is that this tuner here uses a 75 ohm connection for the antenna input whereas this one just uses a standard 50 ohm TV connection on the back here like I showed you before so I will have to use an adapter like this to hook up the antenna to this tuner here but what I'm going to do is I am going to hook up the antenna to this to this tuner as well and we'll tune in the same stations using the same antenna, and I will show you of a difference in reception between the two.
right, so as you can see there, the differences were actually kind of significant. Um, now, there might be some better analog tuners um, than this particular model here, but, but I'm thinking that they're probably pretty similar to this one. So this receiver does receive stations very, very well. Probably just as good as your car radio, if not maybe even a little better. So I'm very happy with this radio when it comes to reception. So one other test I'm going to do is I'm going to give you direct hookup from the headphone output of my stereo system and we are going to listen to the analog station using this tuner and we'll listen to the HD radio station using this tuner and I'll be able to instantly switch back and forth um, thanks to this AV selector. I will be able to instantly switch between the HD radio tuner and this tuner here and we will compare and see how the HD station compares to the analog station. Hey, a Frenchie would be on that list. French Bulldogs are not attractive. They're the best dogs. Are they? No. Yeah. They're trendy. No. But they're not like... No. Oh, they are trendy. They're the sweetest dogs, you know. Breeds. Ooh. So this uh, study ranked the cutest dog breeds okay. using how symmetrical their face, ears, <laughs> tongue, and other features are. Good luck, French Bulldog. I don't see French Bulldog anywhere There's on the no list. There's no way a Frenchie would be on that list. French Bulldogs are not attractive. They're the best dogs. Are they? No. Yeah. They're All right, everyone. Well, that is HD radio. So HD radio is cool and all, um, like, I really do want to like it and I wish there were more HD stations in my area, but some, some locations have none at all. So uh, do some research and look and see if you have any HD stations in your area. And if you do and you are interested in listening to them, you can try picking up an HD tuner. But you don't really have to even do that because many stations now just stream their live feed over the internet. So I like electronics, so, so I like to have this kind of stuff. But like if you're on a tight budget, it's probably not really worth the investment for most people because these HD tuners are expensive. And, and the sound quality doesn't really justify the price of HD radio like it's just too expensive for the sound quality that you get if you ask me um, now I even tried emailing a station about this I even tried emailing a station about this asking them if they knew anything more about HD radio and if there were going to be any other sub channels added and I did not get any response so I'm assuming that that answer is no they do not know so unfortunately I do not see HD radio pr probably going anywhere else anytime in the near future. But that being said, what is here is cool to mess with, but you're probably best just sticking with your regular analog radio for the most part. But anyhow, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.